Greetings and salutations. This is Akirishin. In this video, I will be featuring the Focke Wolf TA-183 Huckabeen German Fighter. This is a Tier 9 fighter. I like to think of it as the little dynamo. It's kind of small, very compact. Very interesting looking aircraft. I would call it unique. The TA-183 is equipped with four 30 millimeter cannons with medium damage per second, medium rate of fire, maybe even on the low side I would say, and medium effective range. Upgrades wise, uh, gone with the typical, at least for me, uh, control surface adjustment 4, which increases maneuverability in turns by 3%, and lightweight airframe 4, which increases maneuverability in all axes by 3%. This aircraft has good maneuverability in rolls and in turns, uh, but it does not have high maneuverability and certainly not very high maneuverability. So we do need to augment uh, this aircraft's ability to turn and to have a greater chance of prevailing in a turning dogfight. To accentuate this aircraft's uh, cannons, I have gone with Gyroscopic Gunsight 2. And in terms of other options, you could go with improved radiator. I don't think this has a particularly high, uh, well, I strike that. It does say it has a long lasting boost. I guess we'll, I, I don't know exactly what it is, so I guess we'll have to, I don't remember it anyway. So I guess we'll have to see what that is once we uh, get into PVP here. But if you wanted to accentuate that to uh, get get that boost up faster, you might go with improved radiator. You could also go with polish covering, which would be a 3% increase in top speed. Uh, this does indicate that the TA-183 has high airspeed, so I don't know that you necessarily need to have any, uh, I guess, augmentation of that speed. Maybe you could go with more survivability, because of course, as a fighter, it does have low survivability. So you could, could go with either improved covering for, which is decreasing the chance of a critical of critical damage to the wings and tail and it also gives you a 5% boost to the aircraft's um, hit points or you could go with the self sealing uh, fuel tank which does reduce the chance of fire and damage caused by fire by 50% which is very significant But I chose to go with the gyroscopic gun sight because I want to hit things as much as possible. Ammunition wise, I have gone with the universal ammunition, uh, mainly because some of you folks have expressed uh, a desire to see how the aircraft performs with the non-gold ammunition. So I, I do want to 
uh, be cognizant of that concern uh, because not everyone does have the, the resources to get upgraded gold ammunition. Uh, left to, to my own devices, I would probably get the high explosive uh, ammunition for the greater crit chance. I certainly would not go with high explosive incendiary because it's just the rate of fire for these cannons is not high enough to warrant that. So typically I would though slot the high explosive for the higher crit chance. But nothing wrong with the universal ammo. It does have uh, it, higher fire chance than the high explosive and and still does have a decent crit chance now interestingly enough for this particular aircraft normally the universal ammo the standard ammo uh, it has an equal amount of chance of fire and crit chance but in but for this aircraft strangely enough it is not equal it has uh, only two slots for the chance of fire uh, and four for chance for crit chance so I don't know why it's different for this particular aircraft but it is consumables wise um, I have slotted the automatic fire extinguisher and I just, you know, typically I'm going to do that. You could also theoretically go with the first aid kit. Um, but having a permafire uh, on my aircraft concerns me. So I am hesitant not to equip that. And because the this aircraft has... A vulnerable engine I did go with the automatic engine restarter now these are uh, gold consumables I did not go with the uh, non gold consumables here not because these are necessarily so much better um, the difference as I've mentioned in the past between the non gold and the gold is that the non-gold has a 90 second cooldown uh, whereas the gold has a 60 second cooldown. The other major difference is that the non-gold you have to activate uh, manually whereas the gold activates automatically uh, at least on, on these two the engine restarter and the fire extinguisher. Um, and I really just went with these not because of the better cooldown, uh, but because sometimes I tend to forget in the heat of things to <laughs> activate those consumables. Um, so having them activate automatically is nice. Uh, and I did go with heavy duty control surfaces which increases aircraft maneuverability in all axes for 10 seconds, which is nice when you're in that uh, tight turning um, dogfight. But I did go with the standard uh, ammunition. Pilot skills wise, um, I have gone with aerodynamics expert. Uh, because we have lightweight airframe and control uh, surface adjustment, this augments those by 40%. So how, to whatever degree uh, it augments the aircraft's maneuverability using those upgrades, 40% of that upgrade will be added on to that, which I think is uh, significant. Uh, if I had, uh, well, the issue here um, with my current 
layout is that I have gone with the Marksman 1, which further augments uh, the gyroscopic sight upgrade that I put on the aircraft to just make this aircraft uber accurate. Uh, I would even go with Marksman 2 once that's available, but if I had two more points on this uh, pilot, I would go with Aerobatics Expert. Um, but, I, but I had a choice between this, the Aerobatics Expert, and the Marksman 1, and I just go to, decided to go with Marksman 1. And that's maybe just because for me, sometimes I, I have trouble hitting the target when the aircraft is, is really going fast. And so that just helps me to do better with that. That may not be an issue with you, so you might choose not to go so much with that, with the uh, increased accuracy. But for me, it works. Okay, so this aircraft is very effective in intercepting aircraft at high altitude. I really like aircraft to have that capability because then they can fight both low, mid, and high. Um, whereas if you get an aircraft like, say, the, the Yak-30 that is mainly low altitude combat, you, you really you are less versatile with that aircraft. So stats wise, uh, optimal altitude for this aircraft is 2,500 meters. And optimal airspeed is 500 meters and 50 kilometers per hour which is you know media it's a medium fast aircraft um, and I hear myself saying that a lot with this particular aircraft with the TA-183 that it's it's medium for example you know the the cannons are uh, medium to low damage per second medium to low rate of fire medium effective fire range so it's kind of a you know what I would call a tweener uh, kind of a medium uh, type aircraft maybe doesn't excel at anything in particular but um, kind of does everything well enough that's how I would describe it Okay, so paint schemes wise, uh, this I want to say is the winter paint scheme here that we're looking at. This is the marine desert. I really like the desert pattern on this. I like these little smaller. Uh, patterned sections. I really like that that style of, of camouflage. Uh, and summer. I guess green because summer all the vegetation is out. Everything is blooming and green I suppose. Someone commented that uh, this uh, tail here is looks like a, a commercial aircraft. Uh, very interesting comment. I do kind of like that high tail like that. It's interesting when you're when you see when you're looking out and you see other TA 183s. It's it's interesting. It's neat to see that design. Very attractive plane, albeit small. It's like the Yugo of jets. 
It's the Prius of jets. <laughs> And of course, I've got my lucky 13, as always on these German aircraft. All right, so um, all that being said, let's get into a battle here. And you can see how the TA-183 uh, performs. Okay, so we have drawn the plateau turning point, and I am sure we will be seeing our desert uh, paint scheme. And we are going to go to the air base first the enemy, and, we shall win. and try to secure that. Now the air base is of the uh, healing type. Get ready for action. Let's go. So if we need to, we can heal up there. And of course, it's a spawn point once we take it. Now we have a nine-second uh, burst. It looks like engine burst. So that's very reasonable. I would not call that a long-lasting burst, uh, as the description refers to it, but it's it, enough. I can't be too unhappy with the lots of burst. Okay, so we took a little damage there. I want to show you how this healing works. We need to come down close to the ground. And you see the little wrench pop up, and there we go. We are 100% healed up and ready to go. Very nice feature. All right, so we're going to head over here to the garrison in the center. Let's see if we can wrestle that away. Bomber squadron detected. Engage them immediately. Got a little fire here from somewhere. There we go. Flip vertically and turn. See if we can get this fella to go past us. Still on our tail. Ah, he's not letting go. He's gonna get us some afraid. I am just going everywhere I can here, trying to deny him the kill. Eventually, he's going to get us, though. Let's see what it is. There we go. Russian aircraft, very maneuverable. Seriously? Why 
he gave up on us, but I'm glad he did. Come on, turn around. Goodbye. Are you shooting at my buddy? that all right so we need to take some objectives here we are going to lose Still a little bit of time, not much. around. We're going to lead this aircraft. See how much we're leading. Well, those 30 millimeter cannons really do a good job. They connect. There's no way to break through now. You're on your own. Ah. We're gonna hit the uh, extra maneuverability there. You've done what you could. Go back to base. Okay. Almost got him, but not quite. All right, effective fire and subjugator. Number one position. Back to the hangar and see how our stats look. Okay, so nine aerial targets destroyed. Did get the Avenger accolade down there, meaning uh, I believe it was Lotif that shot us down, and we did get that aircraft shot down later. All right. So 6450 combat points. The 
number one enemy aircraft was the was an attack aircraft now these have become very very popular uh, 46,000 in ground damage 10 area and, and 10 aerial targets destroyed very impressive and six aerial targets destroyed there okay so they had three human players on the enemy team as did we okay so um, I really enjoy this aircraft love the look of it it's so unique do love the 30 millimeter cannons you can see how effective they are uh, they can take down an enemy aircraft very quickly can be a little challenging making contact with them um, because it's not a high rate of fire uh, but that's where the uh, increased accuracy comes into play now I will say this uh, on the pilot skills I can feel the difference of not having aerobatics expert so certainly if I you know when I get two additional skill points for this pilot I will choose to go with aerobatics expert uh, next over marksman 2 uh, but I would then go from aerobatics expert and then after that I would get marksman 2 um, but I definitely feel the absence of aerobatics expert you saw in that one uh, dogfight we were in there was just no way we were going to outturn um, that enemy aircraft which was the LA-9 I mean you know those Russian aircraft do have you know high maneuverability um, the LA-9 uh, LA-9 you see is very maneuverable uh, it's got 73 out of 100 points in maneuverability let's compare that to our TA-183 where'd you go? Ah, there we are so for the TA-183 54 out of 100 in maneuverability so big difference there big difference and that little difference uh, can decide whether you're gonna win a close-in dogfight or lose it um, so you you tend to want with this aircraft you tend to want to avoid those turning dogfights you're better off to uh, kind of pick away at the peripheral of the fight uh, get in there knock out one of the enemy on the peripheral back off fly back in uh, hit one of the uh, aircraft on the peripheral and just work your way around don't like go in the thick of it um, that does not work as well with this aircraft um, I found a uh, an awesome uh, image for this aircraft uh, some artwork uh, I will try to include that uh, maybe at the start of this video so I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I hope that you'll get to fly this uh, awesome aircraft and I think 
you will find great success when you do.